Hey, everybody, welcome back for day three of our rose window or radial design drawings. So I finished yesterday tracing my design onto the transparency sheet. When I lift this up, you'll actually be able to see the drawing on the transparency sheet and then also on my drawing paper. So there it is, all finished and traced. Today, what you're going to need is you're going to need your drawing on your transparency sheet. It's still taped to that white sheet of paper. Don't remove it from this. You need to stay stuck to it. And you're also going to need some Sharpies or permanent markers. Now, I recommend that you use about three or four different colors. If you picked up the transparency sheet and the paper from school, there should have been three or four markers in your bag that you picked up. If you have other colors at home that you want to use, you are welcome to use those, but you really only need about three or four colors. So the first step today is making sure that you've traced everything. So double check, make sure everything's traced, make sure you trace the circle. And then we're gonna take our transparency film and we're gonna actually flip it over so that it's on the back of our drawing paper. Now we can't see our drawing anymore. Now, this is so important because if you try to add color on the drawing side, your colored Sharpies will actually remove your black Sharpies. So we wanna make sure that the color goes on the opposite side of the transparency film. So here it is again. I've got it on my drawing paper. You can see my drawing on this side. We're gonna take it, flip it over so that it's on the back. Now I'm gonna be coloring on the back of the transparency film so the opposite side of the black. All right. You can decide to color, or you can color this any way you want. I like to create a pattern with mine, and I do want to make sure that I'm keeping it symmetrical as well. So when I color a shape one color, that means that all the repeating shapes around it should be the same color. You can also do patterns. So maybe on the inside here, instead of doing all dark blue, I could create a pattern of dark and light blue. So here's what that's going to look like. I'm going to go inside my black lines. And then I'm gonna fill it in, making sure all my lines go the same direction. Just like with our Crayola markers on paper, when you change directions with these, you will be able to see it. So you wanna be really careful about that and making sure that you keep those lines going the same direction. So I'm gonna outline my shape and then fill it in with my lines going the same direction. And I am skipping every other one to create some kind of pattern for mine. And fill it in. Markers have to be permanent markers. You cannot use regular Crayola markers. They must be permanent markers. They don't have to be Sharpie brand. This one is some random permanent marker, but it should say permanent on it. So make sure you're using permanent markers. And now I'm gonna create the inside of this one. Again, outlining inside the shape carefully, making sure I'm using my best craftsmanship and then filling it in with the lines going the same direction. And I'm gonna color all the way out to the black circle that I made. So making sure that I fill it in nicely. You can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. So you get a few of these colored in, you can kind of hold it up and see it against the light. It looks like a piece of stained glass. It's kind of hard to see on the black table, hold on. There it is, you can see what it looks like. If you put it in a window, hang it up on a window, you'll really be able to see the colors come through. Um, but this is our stained glass window. All right, friends, I am gonna finish coloring in my rose window, my stained glass window. You are gonna finish coloring yours in, and then don't forget to take a photograph of it and send it to me on Canvas. When you take your photo, make sure that that white paper is underneath it so that I get a good picture of what you created. If you try to take the picture with it open on the table like this, I won't be able to see it very well. So make sure that it is flat like this and then I'll be able to see it. All right, have fun. Can't wait to see what you created. Bye everybody.